All right, ladies and gentlemen, like Lady Gaga, like people before her, before me, I'm going to be famous eventually, but like people before me, like people that are famous, that are really sweet and nice. I, I'm Paris Hilton, like Kim Kardashian, they're all nice. So I'm going to be the same way. Now, the thing is, when you are a nice person, you can't give yourself away too much or you can't be like, you know, always giving yourself away. Some people are busy, you know, some people have things they're doing, you know. So instead of being like, oh, they're not responding, they're not this and that, which you shouldn't really care about, but some of people are like, well, I'm giving and giving and giving. You know, some people really can't respond to you that way. They're not made to respond to you that way. Some people might not, you might be too much for some people. Like, there are, not that I'm saying I'm the greatest, which I do think I'm the greatest, but not in a you know, snobby kind of way, but so as you are really too much for someone, and that's not a bad thing, it just means that they might not want to talk to you, or whatever, and it's not like a bit, it's, it's not horrible, you know, it's not like a horrible thing, it's a good thing, right? Um, but, or maybe they're very, very busy, and they got lots to do, you know, you know, it's really, you have to really recognize that some people are very, very busy, or they're dealing with a really bad situation, or you, there are many people that you're like, you think, oh, they seem nice, but you know, there's some people that are, that seem nice, but really aren't, or there are people that are like, not really good for you, you know, so instead of dwelling on it or whatever, be like, just focus on people that are positive energy, that are going to give you what you need, um, it really is something that you have to, uh, that you have to really, um, you know, be aware of, in a sense, I mean, you don't have to really be aware of it, but just certainly be aware that you might be doing that, you know, maybe you're trying to get people's attention that might otherwise be not good people or whatever, you know, and the thing is, there are people that really aren't good at all, not, no, they're not, maybe they're not good for you, but they're good for someone else, uh, so, so don't, don't be hard on yourself, you know, and you can't please everyone all the time, and you can't please no, uh, you know, all people, you know, and most people you don't even want to talk to. Sometimes I feel like I've, I want to talk to someone and then I'm like, but wait a minute, they're not like what I thought they were. And then, and then you like feel, you shouldn't feel down about that. It's just that they're not the right person for you, whatever. Now, I'm not saying that I, you know, I, I'm very good about what I need to do and who I need to speak to and I limit myself like my best friends and people that I'm close to are very few and far between. I really don't don't choose people to be my friend unless I really feel that they are gonna make me feel good about myself and that they're gonna boost my confidence and make me feel good. I mean to do this many videos, if I had a friend that had made me feel un in, like not confident, then I wouldn't be good for this vid for this job, right? I really have to have friends that are going to encourage me, that are going to make me a better performer. At the end of the day, that's what I need for myself. Some people might not like that, maybe they don't want to perform, and so I can't, you know, and I can be friends with them, but I just wouldn't perform with them, which is fine, but, but I mean, you know, you really need people that, I, I can't stand it when I talk to someone, and they don't want to talk about my channel. Not that I don't expect everyone to talk about my channel, and I don't expect everyone to, and I don't mean family, my family can talk, say whatever. I'm talking about friends, you know, like, if I'm talking to a friend, and I, I mean, I don't expect my friends to always talk about it, but if I'm talking to a new friend, let's say, my passwords are really good, they love my videos, but if I'm talking to a new friend, and they just don't want to talk about my videos, it's totally fine if it's someone that you have a lot to talk about with, and they value you in other ways, that's totally fine. It's just that if they're minimizing your skill, or they feel like, or you feel like they're just constantly putting you down, or they say, oh, let's not talk about your channel, because they feel like you're not offering them uh, anything, you know, I'll talk about their channel too, I'll talk about what, what I, you know, I guess it makes sense, I mean, you could date someone, and not like their acting career, so I guess technically, it's not a huge deal, I mean, but the thing is, they have to encourage, uh, I don't need them to talk about my channel, but it will be nice. But I mean, like, like I said, like, but the thing is, if I was to date an actor or actress, not that I would not talk about their videos or not talk about their performance,
but I'm dating them, not their performing, not their their abilities at work. You know, like if I dated Channing Tatum or Matthew McConaughey or Madonna, I mean, I don't usually date older women, but Madonna or maybe Lourdes, let's say, <laughs> surprisingly, maybe it's Lourdes, but um, if I dated those people, which I may never even meet, but I think I will eventually, but if I dated those people, then, you know, maybe, maybe I would be, well, like if I dated Lourdes and she was a singer, I bet you anything I'd like her music and I like what she does, but but like Matthew McConaughey or Channing Tatum. I mean, of course I watch some videos with that they've done. And I love watching their videos. But with Matthew McConaughey and Channing Tatum, I would rather spend physical time with them and enjoy their company rather than watch their videos. Just because I, I seriously do like watching girl performers more than I like watching guy performers. It's just how I feel. I just, I really feel like it's really fun to watch a female do a crazy sexy dance then to walk I mean I like guys doing sexy dance too but in smaller doses I I can't watch a guy for like even like 20 minutes straight I usually unless it's like a movie but I can't watch a guy perform for a long period of time I just prefer watching women perform much better I mean of course it depends if it's like a talk show or whatever but I really like watching women performers like a bit in music video so anyway um, it's very much like, a, um, like, yeah, so Lourdes, you know, I'd like to spend time with her, but I can l literally watch her videos all day. I'm assuming she's going to be a very talented, amazing singer, and that I'll like her stuff. I don't know for sure. Who knows if she'll even sing. I'm pretty sure she will, but who knows? But I mean, I can't imagine not liking what she does because Madonna's so great. It is possible that I won't like what, how she performs. But somehow I doubt that. Anyway, I can't wait till she comes up with an album by now.